Hi everyone and welcome. This video is regarding about how a Qatar Airways open day interview looks like. After you applied for the cabin crew positions at the Qatar Airways careers website, you will receive an email confirmation that your application is received and successful, along with a link to set up your applicant account. After a few days, if your resume is shortlisted, you will receive an email invitation for the open day interview. This can also take more than half a month or some few weeks. On this video, I am going to discuss what to prepare, what to do, what to expect from this open day interview. The email notification will look like this with the subject line Kevin Crew Recruitment Event. You will have the details of the date time and place where the hiring event is going to take place. There will also be some instructions about which documents you need to carry with yourself and what are some expectations you can have from the event. And if you go to your applicant login account and check the status of your job application, you can see the status showing as invited for meet and greet. This is the green light that you are shortlisted and will go for the further recruitment process. The overall open day event is about submitting your resume to the recruiters or interviewers. But there are some things that you need to prepare yourself before the interview and be ready for it because it is not only about resume submission. In this open day, it is also the day that you get to meet your interviewers or the recruiters for the first time. And from there itself, your interview process is started. On an average, the number of applicants coming for the open day interview can be about 200 to 300 candidates. From there, about 100 to 150 candidates will be selected, but it can also be more than that or less than that in certain specific times. So you have to be fully conscious and be prepared for the interview to get yourself selected. First of all, you have to be really really dressed well for the event. There are some certain rules on how you should dress and make the perfect presentable look for the interview varying for both male and female candidates. You need to carry all the necessary documents that is needed to submit. The instructions are that you need to bring the CV which has the applicant ID mentioned on it along with a passport size photograph. But suggestion is that you carry all the other documents that is related in case they might need any other information or you may have to use it. While all this time are for being prepared and ready, you have to be always bear in mind this one question. Why do you want to be a cabin crew? When you arrive at the interview location and the hotel place, you will be directed to a conference room where you will find other lots of candidates sitting and waiting for the interview. You might feel an adrenaline rush or some nervousness if that is the first time you are giving the interview. The key is to stay calm and bear a smile always. Remember, punctuality helps to create for a smooth and less stressful start for one's day. So plan to arrive on the scene about 10 to 15 minutes before the interview. When you step into the conference room, try to settle at a place amongst the other candidates and try to talk and interact with them, share your preparation journey or anything, make conversation. This doesn't only ease you up, but you can also gain some confidence thinking like, we are going to do this together and we can do it. As said earlier too, don't feel any nervousness. Be confident and stay calm. Also, don't try to stay on your mobile phone while you wait for the interview. Now, when you face the interviewer or recruiters, greet them with smile. This shows that you are very excited for the role and looking very much forward to it. While interacting with them, Make your posture good like sitting straight and make eye contact with the recruiters. Don't try to fidget while you answer because it can send a wrong signal that your answers are made up and also can have a wrong impressions on them. 
After you done answering, appreciate them with a thank you note. This can make them feel that you really value their time and you are also very much happy to be there. After you join with the other candidates in the conference room, when the time comes, the interviewers will enter the hall and introduce themselves. Make sure you remember their name so that when you greet them, you can greet them using their names. They will tell you to line up outside a room where you need to submit your documents that are your resume and photo one after another. Here comes the most important part of the interview. The crucial step right here is that how you enter the interviewing room make the entrance because you have to make an impression in the first glance that amongst all the other candidates, you are the best fit. Maintain a smile on your face while you enter and greet them. They will ask for the resume and other documents they needed. While doing so, they will make some conversations with you like, how are you? Are you a fresher or experienced like that? Well, this is all of their part of interviewing process. Then they will tell you to do a high check where there is a wall marked with a tape at a level of 212 cm. You have to touch the point with your fingers. Girls should remove their shoes and can stand on their tiptoes to touch the point. Boys will remain their shoes on it and try to touch it. After you are done with the height check, they may ask you some questions about yourself and yes, the most important key questions. Why do you want to be a cabin crew? They can also ask you why do you choose Qatar Airways? And if you are an experienced candidate, they can also ask you why do you looking for a change. They will give you the feedback right away if you are selected for the round or not. You can definitely understand that you are selected if they hand over you a cheat sheet with a number written on it. They will tell you a time for next day to come and bring along a pan with you. If you got to hear this and got the cheat sheet, then bam! You are selected for the next round. And for those who are not selected, they will tell them like you will receive an email at the end of the day for the feedback. Unfortunately, this means they are rejected from the next round. So this is it, how the open day interview goes like. And for those who are selected, you can go home and prepare for the next round. That is the assessment day. Thanks everyone for those who are watching this. If you like this video and think that you have benefited some knowledge from this, please share to the other experience who are looking to become a cabin crew with the Qatar Airways.